A busy interstate shut down for hours after a chemical reaction at a facility in Rockdale County caused smoke to drift onto I-20. Nick Sturdivant joins us live from Biolab in Conyers. Nick. Francesca, this really caused a mess as far as traffic earlier this morning. Behind me, you still have an officer conducting traffic here at the intersection of Old Covenant Highway and Sigmund Road. This is off of I-20. And uh, we got new information a little earlier from a company spokesperson with Biolab. They said no one was hurt. This was a chemical reaction due to water exposure that caused the smoke over I-20. We did notice earlier an environmental services truck come through. It appeared to be headed to the scene. Right now, we are about five miles away from Biolab. At one point, Kanye's police said the main concern was the smoke. I-20 from Sigmund Road to Highway 138 was blocked. Kanye's police tweeted about an hour ago um, that I-20 remains closed. According to Biolab's website, it makes chemicals for pools and cleaning products. We did some digging, and back in 2016, there was a fire at the same facility, according to the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office, and that case, chlorine pellets stored in five gallon buckets had a chemical reaction and called fire. Back in 2004, there was a massive fire set off by multiple explosions at the same place. People had to be evacuated and chlorine was one of the chemi chemicals to blame in that situation. And again, according to Biolab, uh, a company spokesperson, they said that this was a chemical reaction. It was not a fire as we initially reported. The company said it has notified the U.S. Chemical and Safety Hazard Investigation Board and will provide any updates. Nick, thank you. And let's check in now with Crash Clark for a closer look at how this has actually been impacting traffic this morning. Look at that shot right there from the Sky Tracker, Fran. Absolutely eerie, not seeing traffic east or west on I-20, but look to the left of your screen. That's what's happening on all the surface streets as police redirect traffic away from this scene. And this happened early this morning. We started following this as breaking news during the morning rush. Here's the address, 1700 Old Covington Highway, and they're asking you to avoid travel in the area. Look at the surface streets that are just a mess right now. The interstate remains closed about a four mile stretch on I-20 east and westbound. This is between 138 and Sigmund Road, as Nick pointed out. And again, avoid that area. We give you some of these as alternates, but trust me, they're crowded alternates. Sigmund Road, Flat Shoals, Covington Highway, even Klondike Road. We've been keeping an eye on, but folks, as you could tell right here, the surface streets really taking the brunt of all this traffic being forced off in both directions. But that's the live look right there showing I-20 in Conyers remains completely shut down. Fran. My goodness, thank you so much, Crash.